Hello there. My name is Wendy Riggs, and I just wanted to welcome you to this class. I'm your uh, intrepid leader, and intrepid is an accurate statement of the kind of leader that I shall be. Uh, it's going to be a, a great adventure, and the purpose of this little welcome clip is to make sure that you have a sense of what you need to do um, immediately. So if there is some part of you, answer this question honestly, that decided to take an online general biology class because you thought it would be easier, um, no, it's not going to be easier. It, I hope, isn't harder. I mean, it shouldn't, it's the same content. It's the same ideas. I teach face-to-face -face general bio, so I am using the same materials. Um, but I definite, like there's an added cognitive load of having the, the fact that this is online. The biggest significant piece of this online course for you that is going to be a, a little bit different than maybe other online courses is that this course has a lab component. So the added cognitive load involves prepping your own lab work. Um, I am in process of building all those labs. You have a lab a week, and um, I hope to get them, you know, published soon enough so that you have time to get the materials that you need. But um, the, I would imagine that this course is going to take a little more time than what you would experience with a face-to-face -face course, just because you have to create um, all of this stuff. That said, um, if you are tech savvy, you can handle sort of independent thinking, you can figure things out, and you're not afraid to ask questions when you can't figure it out on your own, then I feel super confident that this is going to be a really solid course, and um, we're going to have some fun. So first of all, if you need to contact me, I have logged into your Canvas uh, course, and there's, there's a couple things that you can do. Um, first of all, if you go to the inbox right here, you can send me a message through Canvas. You can also send me an email, and my email is posted like in a jillion places in here. And so you can always send me uh, an email to communicate, which is awesome. Um, I think those are probably the two best ways to communicate right now, especially as we're getting started. Oh, and I have a discussion board. Let me see. There's another place where you can communicate with me to ask questions. Um, it would be the questions for Riggs board. And so if you have questions um, that you think everybody else can benefit from, that is a good place to uh, post questions like that. So, so before we get anywhere else, we have to make sure that you are super comfortable um, reaching out to me if you need to. Okay. so this week. We hit the ground um, running, and there is a module zero that you need to get rolling on right away. When you get into Canvas, hopefully you're seeing this video first. Click on modules over here on the whatever left side uh, toolbar menu thing, whatever that thing is, and it will take you to what is published and available right now in our class. Module zero is required before our first content module will open, and there's content in week one. Okay, so um, you, like my intention with module zero is to make sure, number one, you know what you're getting into. This class has been full pretty much since it opened. It was the first Bio 1 class to fill. It filled faster than any of our other face-to-face -face classes. So I know you all want to be here, and you want to have this online option, but you really do need to be honest with yourself about whether or not you can handle the um, amount of stuff that you're going to have to do, which is very similar to what you'd have to do in a face-to-face -face class with the exception of prepping your own labs. So I want you to walk through um, the entire module. And I make videos, and I like making videos, 
but I'm not making videos for every single thing you have to do in here. So you, you read the page, and I mean, I know that I probably don't even have to tell you that, but through the course of module zero, there are eight assignments. There are eight things that you are going to do, and they include a discussion board. They include things like sending me an email. That's not too hard in the proper way identified in your syllabus. Um, reading your syllabus, looking at the schedule. There's even a little quiz so you can practice like doing all this stuff. Once you finish module zero, then week one will open for you. So really, you're kind of motivated to get through module zero as quickly as possible because week one module is not a full normal content week. Normally we'll have two lectures and a lab every week, and this um, week one we have one lecture and a lab, so that reduces your um, to-do list a, a little bit. But you still have, you're going to be completing a lab. You're going to be setting up your lab notebook. There's a lot of stuff that is going to happen. So the sooner you get on it, the um, happier we all will be. And let's see. I think you're good. Okay. That's all. I'm not going to tell you anything else. I'm just excited that you're here and excited that you know how to contact me and excited that I'm getting ready to publish this course for you. Okay. Bye-bye.